chapter 3, lesson 1. Simple subtraction within a thousand. So the fact that it's simple means that we don't need to regroup or in our case called borrow. Okay, so we need to remember that if it says subtract A and B, that means the bigger number is on the top. The smaller number goes on the bottom. But if it says subtract A from B, then that means that it's going to have to be B minus A. Okay, so for the lesson, it's on page 46. Uh, we need to also still recall 1 and 9, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, 4 and 6, 5 and 5. So this tool is useful throughout all the years. So the kids need to make sure that they're really very well familiar or well versed with the groupings. Okay, so this is mental subtraction. So when it's mental subtraction, it's just a single place value subtraction. So therefore, in this case, it's the ones that's being subtracted. Therefore, the other values are just copied. So this is for O, 8 minus 3 is 5. Okay, so similarly, in this case, it's the tens that's being subtracted. So therefore, the, the hundreds and the ones, we just copy. So this is 6, and then subtract that would be 1 and 5. So again, this is mental subtraction, single place value subtraction. So this is hundreds that are subtracted, leaving the ones and the tens to be copied. So 700 minus 400 is 300 and copy 2 and 6. Okay, so my method of subtraction mentally is a little bit easier than the book. So let's not stress our kids by making them follow the book. Follow this approach. They just need to remember it's a single place value subtraction. Okay, however, when it's mental, sub, I mean computational subtraction, that means we want to write vertically because it entails a subtraction of multiple place values. So 9 minus 5 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2, which means that's 124. 365 minus 143, again, this is simple subtraction. So 5 minus 3 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. And 3 minus 1 is 2 making it 222. So again, parents, we don't want to stress our kids. Okay, stress will actually start in the next lesson. So we want to simplify. Therefore, what we want to do is train them to keep remember, remembering the pairings. So that's very important. And we need to remind them that if it's mental math, it's horizontal and computational is vertical. That concludes chapter three, lesson one. See you in the next lesson.